What is going on everybody? This is Major League Pops and today I got some big news. You may not think it's big news, but that's okay. I was able to complete my first set thanks to Hot Topic. So uh, me and Minor Leagues, we were uh, currently at Hot Topic. Surprise, surprise. We've been uh, going a lot to Hot Topic lately. It's just, it, it's been a lot of fun. And then of course we're trying to get that Hot Topic cash. So in later in July, we can go back and participate in the sale and hopefully pick up some really cool items for a really good price. Because like every, was it like 30 bucks, you get like a $15 coupon. So we got like a good little stack going. We got about nine coupons or so. And uh, yeah, so anyways, they had some uh, discounted pops. So I'm like, let me take a look at the discounted pops. Why not, right? I'm trying to build up my collection and it would just be fun to have a couple little pops back here, you know, that are out of the box. So I found a little set. Now, these ones have probably been out for a while, obviously. That's why they're discounted and they're not really special, but that's okay. For the price that they were and they had all of them, I couldn't beat it. So I'm like, what the heck? So without further ado, guys, let's take a look at this set and we're gonna review a couple of the pops. Let's go! All right, so the set in question that we are talking about is, bam, we got the Marvel Runaways. Now, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not familiar with the Marvel Runaways, but it looks like there are six in the set. There is Nico, there's Alex Wilder, there's Carolina Dean, there's Gert Yorks, there is Molly Hernandez, and Chase Stein. So this one obviously is Alex Wilder, number 356. We are gonna actually take this one out. It looks kind of cool, so you guys can see it a little bit better, but you know, this, you know, like I said, for the price that they were selling this one for, I'm like, I just couldn't pass it up and they had all six of them. So I'm like, I'm gonna get my first set. Right off the bat, it's a bobblehead. Something looks a little weird with this head. It looks like it's off centered. I'm not really sure why, but check it out. Little bobblehead guy. Um, yeah, it does look a little off center, so I don't know if that's just like how it is or whatever, but it's not a bad little pop, and like I said, it was a good deal. Uh, I like his little shoes. Look at that. You got the shoe game going on, some like little green. They almost look like Converse a little bit. You know, it's funny though. I'm looking at the shoes, and the paint job is a little suspect. They could have did a little bit better, but you know, with the shoes, probably a little bit harder. I do like on the glasses though, they actually have some lenses because I know that was a big issue back when uh, Funkos first started coming out is that the glasses had like no lenses. Uh, the other funny part is like, as a person that wears glasses, these glasses seem to be a little crooked and like off-centered. Uh, they need to be pushed up a little bit. And also on the ears, like on this side at least, he doesn't have his ear leg right behind his ear like he should. So like, I'll get my glasses here and I'm sure you guys all know what I'm talking about. You should have the leg right behind the ear. You really shouldn't even be able to see it. And so on this one, of course, you can see the glasses all the way. So, but uh, I'm not gonna complain too much. Like I said, it was a good deal. And uh, obviously I knew what I was getting. So there you go, you got Alex there. I do like the fact that he actually does stand up pretty good. The next one that I got is Chase Stein, because I told you I got the set. This is number 360. This one is actually a little bit cooler. This one is a bobblehead figure as well. This one's kind of basic. The one cool feature about Chase is that I really like his, looks like he's got like almost like an infinity gauntlet glove type thing going on on his hands. Check that out. But this one is actually a really nice one. There you go. If you guys want to see all six in the back, but don't worry, I will show you. So I'm not really sure, like I said, who Chase Stein is. I'll have to do a little more research, but I really like the gloves and the detail that they put on it. The face is very basic. There's not a lot going on on this one. He's got a basic black shirt, some uh, gray pants, and it actually looks like he just got some brown shoes. So nothing special, but it's not bad. The next one that we have is we got Molly Hernandez, number 359. This one is a little weird, and there, there's got to be more to this one because uh, she's got some 
really yellow big eyes but then she's got like a little beanie on top with some eyes which is actually kind of cool looking she's got like a rainbow shirt with some uh, coveralls and a pink sweater going on so check out the details i i like the details on the shirt itself with all the different colors this one is a bobblehead as well so i think they did a pretty decent job on the details the hair looks really good the knit beanie itself looks really good let's take this one out of the box to take like a little bit better of a look uh, I, I don't know. This one probably, with everything going on compared to Alex, this has to be a little bit better in the detail. Look at this. This beanie actually looks like a real beanie. You have like the little imperfections right there as it's sitting on its head. I, I guess she has ears or something because why else would they have like ears going on? Let me know, guys. Does she have ears? Is she like an actual like cat? I'm really not sure. I'm sure the runaway segment is probably because they got they figured out they have powers and so they're different so they ran away like i said i'll do some more research um, i really like the shoes they did a really good job look at the shoes i hope you guys can see it but she's got different color star on her shoes which actually matches her shirt and then of course she has two little rubber bands on her arms she's got a green and red one right there and then a green and a yellow one right there so they just did a really good job with the details on the beanie because look it actually looks like a real quad beanie that's on her head so they did a good job with that one detail wise that is probably one of the better ones she's a little head heavy so she won't stay up she does have a little stand so i'll have to put that little stand on in a second the next one that we have is we have gert yorks gert yorks another interesting little character she's wearing glasses as well she's got that little smug look like don't bother me going on. I like the purple hair, decent. What is up with all these shoes? Yeah, the, the shoes are actually kind of interesting. Uh, they didn't do too bad of a job. She's got some teal socks going on. She's got a little plaid mini skirt, a little jean jacket, and it looks like she has a little like cactus insignia on her jacket, so not too bad. Other than that, you know, nothing special. I don't feel like it's as detail-oriented as, you know, molly was uh just because maybe because of the clothing there's just not a lot of detail going on i mean yeah the plaid you know mini skirt i guess would probably be the most uh detailed thing on it and maybe the cactus the cactus probably took a little time she has nothing on her wrist or anything so take a look at gert by the way gert what, what kind of name is gert yorks okay okay we can go with it the next one we are gonna share with you is Carolina Dean. This one is, yeah, this one's okay. She got like a little star on her shirt, little white shoes, little some blue jeans. Uh, looks like she's got a little star on her pants that looks like almost like a spider, but it's obviously not. Some sort of like, almost looks like a fireworks coming out of her, her side of her leg right there. Kind of like match a little detail on the shirt. She looks like she's holding her hands up because she's about to do something. She's got like a long ponytail and with some uh, pink rubber bands kind of holding it together. Not bad, kind of basic. Check it out right there. Nothing special about this one. So this is number 357. Sorry if I haven't been sharing the numbers with you. And the last one, and I feel like uh, uh, besides maybe Chase, cause like I said, I like Chase's gloves. This is probably the best one in the set, but we have Nico. And this one's just really cool because she's got her little staff or her little scepter in her hands. She's got this cool little outfit and she just looks badass. She's got some like little eyebrow coloring right here going on above her eyes. So check it out. It looks really good. She's got her hair up. It just, the details on this one actually look really good. I feel like out of the six, this is probably the best one. Uh, I would go with Chase's number two and then Molly number three for the details. So check it out. You guys, let me know if you guys picked up the Runaway Collection. Let me know if uh, I missed out on some of the information or let me know like some of the questions I had about it. Let me know down in the comment section those answers. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked the review on the Runaways. Ultimately, you guys, um, for the price, I couldn't pass it up. If these are going for a good price, I'd probably just pick them up just to pick them up. But uh, unless you're a fan of Marvel Runaways, 
uh, I don't know. I can't really see a lot of people picking them up. That's probably why they were they were in the clearance section, which is, like I said, fine by me. So, you know, if they were normal price, I definitely wouldn't be picking them up. But to have my first set in my Funko Pop collection, I figured, why not, right? All right, you guys, make sure if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel and you're hitting your notifications. Currently, I'm releasing videos every Sunday, so make sure you stay up on top of that. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you can always do that at Major League Hats. That's with the Z. Yes, I said Major League Hats because that's my other YouTube channel. So if you guys want to follow me on social media, you can always do it there. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. This is Major League Pops out. Bye, everybody. See ya.